Hey everyone, this is Chris with Flip Life, and today I want to talk about reseller resolutions. I've sat down and made some goals for myself going into the new year, and I want to go over some of those things. This is kind of like a document for myself, and maybe some things I mentioned that might help you as well. For me, I don't understand why resolutions are made on a calendar day change. Why not make them right now? I've always said this thing, it might sound cocky, but I don't really mean it that way. I don't make resolutions, I always have resolve. I just mean I constantly try to make changes. I constantly try to improve on the spot. I don't, as a kid, I procrastinated a lot. And in my adulthood, I understood what to change, how to change them and do them now. I don't like to procrastinate or wait because you're only given so much time. And if you don't like something happening, do it now. That's just the way I've looked at it. So for myself, let's just go over this list. And if there's something you have that you'd like to uh, think about on your own, Start writing those things down. My first thing, now I have a dog on my lap too, so he's gonna be probably trying to exit and go scratch at the door, so I'm trying to remove all the extra sounds here. Anyway, first thing is I wanna learn a new category. Primarily, I sell electronics, collectibles, very, very light clothes like jackets, hats, and t-shirts with characters or something with a brand I know that will sell. But I see people sell clothes so much that I'm thinking I might need to learn them. I don't like clothes because of the work. I don't, I don't like straightening them all out. I don't like the measuring and making sure everything is nice when you flip it over. It's just tedious work for me. And when I watch people's videos who resell clothes, only making like eight, nine dollars with free shipping, that just seems like a lot of work for less profit. But there are big name brands I know I'll probably walk by. Shoes, maybe blazers, button ups, that probably would be worth my time looking into. So I'd like to learn maybe a little bit of clothes, like glass and dishes, things like that. I see that everywhere. And I know I walk right by it. And when I go pick something up and I look at comps, I don't know if I waste my time on things that are worth nothing that I could just skip by. And visual recognition when it comes to this is a big thing. Uh, so I see people talk about glass all the time. And I, I say, well, I've seen a picture of that, but is it the same thing? No, that's a, an updated version. That's not vintage. I want to know those things. So I'm gonna look into clothing a little bit more, glass, and let's see what else. Maybe antiques, old things like that. Auction professor deals all in old items, stamps, uh, labels, I mean, just all kinds of paper. I think he calls it M -M paper effort. I can't think of the word right now. But anyway, um, I like what he does because it's unique and it's old and people love old stuff. So I wanna get more well-versed in the antique turn of the century, 1900, early era, uh, things like that. Let's see what else. I wanna finish my office. So right now you're looking at my former inventory, listing, and shipping room. This is a spare bedroom in my house and I haven't changed this horrible curtain. It's been here since I got the house. I never use it for anything other than eBay storage and eBay work like that. Behind me were all my bins. I had them all nice and numbered. That was the first step I made. And then I decided my garage where I have all the things that come into process might be more useful for shipping and inventory because when I have everything in here at one time, when I ship and if I ship more than 10 items, this place is destroyed. It is a wreck. There's bubble wrap in boxes and I have to go out in the hallway to do some things. So I needed a dedicated inventory and shipping table. I might throw a picture of what it looks right now. It's still work in progress, but it's a change. I needed more of a YouTube space as well. When I would sit down and make my videos, I'm using a GoPro. It's such a wide angle. You really can't get rid of this horrible curtain. All areas I would turn to have a door a closet, something in the way. I think I'm trying to be too much of a perfectionist, but I really like a nice clean shot. Some of you guys' videos I watch are just it's perfection, and I wish I could at least come somewhat close to that. I do have a problem with perfection sometimes. I've let go of that in my adult years, but I really want a nice clean shot. So this room is gonna be somewhere back here, a place I can stand, because I feel like I can, make, I can make videos better when I stand and talk versus when I sit. I don't know, I just feel cramped sitting right here but I've got a lot of collectibles too I want to display and I'm a big fan of Gary V and one of his offices have just this collage of toys and sports cards and books and shoes and just things like that. I've got so much stuff in a closet over here that I would love to display and I don't enjoy it. So I want to turn this space into a touch of me, 
uh, a place I can have a better experience recording in because even right now, I don't really like what I see and I, I don't want you guys to see it, but I know it's not gonna be perfect. Start where you are, that's what they always say. And here I am. The next thing I want to upgrade is my sourcing. So I always do yard sales, estate sales during the summer, but during the winter times it gets kind of lean and I've got to rely on other sources. So more thrift stores in my future, going outside of my immediate area. I usually go to the quick ones, the easy ones, and I've kind of learned their patterns, but there's so many Goodwills and so many thrift stores that are independent that I really want to go check out, find out what's there because I see so many thrift hauls. I mean, thrifting is probably what maybe got the YouTube sensation starting of following people as they go source. Finds a Goodwill, or I think I started watching those when I first started realizing there was this community of eBayers. I want to get more into thrift stores, find more things that are year round. So that way when it gets lean in the winter time, I have something to go to and constantly keep that inventory coming in. I want to contact more of my family members because everyone's got extra stuff. I had one recently come to me and say, hey, I heard you're doing the reselling thing. I've got some stuff maybe you'd be interested in. Maybe we'll make a deal. So I'm going to contact all my family members and say, if there's anything you're going to throw away, take to Goodwill, put in a yard sale, could I take a look at it first? So pallets. That's one thing I did over the summer to try to get sourcing done because everything was closed. I got one from Wholesale Ninjas and to say I had a bad time would be an understatement. I did make footage of what I got out of that and I was not happy. I need to go back and review everything because I do want to turn it into a separate video to kind of give a review of Wholesale Ninjas. I'm not totally out of pallets after that experience, but it was not a good one. So stay tuned for that. I know people make a lot of money off pallets. Maybe it just depends on where you get them from. But this was a fully manifested brand new target shelf pull thing. I expected high and Mm, we'll just save that for later. The next thing I want to change this year is cut down on my distractions. While I'm sitting here in front of my computer, I usually have some type of business motivation like Gary V or another YouTube reseller channel going, but sometimes out of the blue, I'll get something in my head that's like, how do you build a rabbit cage? And just look that up and then I'm looking at all kinds of stuff and 20 minutes later, I've wasted my time. So for 2021, I need to focus on being focused. The next thing I like to change is have better systems. I'm a big fan of Daily Refinement and Chris who runs that YouTube channel. He is way farther along in his reselling journey than myself because he's got a warehouse listing hundreds of items, all kinds of things that I aspire to be. Maybe not as big, but I like the things he does. He's all about systems and systems will make your life easier. I've applied just tiny little things that he's given me and watching his videos and they've made the biggest difference in my life. So the systems I want to improve would be bookkeeping because mine are atrocious right now. That's all I'm going to say about that. My inventory. So I moved everything in my garage as mentioned earlier and I need a system of when I bring stuff in, documenting it and putting it in the proper place instead of let it pile up because I will get so much stuff coming in fast. I don't have a place to really put it. So I've got one side of my garage that's going to be new items that have not been listed. The other side of the garage will be listed items. So I need to just do more in organization when I get things in, recording them, my mileage, and when I go travel to get those things, those kind of things will be a big thing for me. Um, supplies. So boxes are probably my biggest problem because it takes up a quarter of my garage. Uh, my garage is set up in kind of a quadrant. I've got my little home workout area. Next to that would be my free box space, which overflows. It's like a gremlin. You get it wet, there's more boxes. There are big ones and little ones, and I try to organize those, and it usually takes me a Saturday, not a whole Saturday. Usually it takes some time on a weekend for me to reorganize them where I've been digging through them, trying to find the right box, and I have to put them back in place almost like a puzzle. What I'd like to do is maybe have three or four size boxes that I use. Here's my large size, my medium size, my small, and then maybe my bags like your padded mailers. If I could have them all flat, laying down, it would just save so much space. Boxes can be expensive. When you're buying bulk and when you're buying larger boxes, the price really adds up. And to have enough to let you go for a month and I'm buying three sizes, four sizes, that could be expensive. So I hate giving up the idea of free boxes, but it would, the space will be great. Space means so much to me in this house. I've definitely outgrown it. And the next thing on my notes is organizing space. And that has a lot to do with what I just said. Boxes take up one quarter of my garage. My new inventory, I can just feel because I've grown so fast. It's going to just be taking up another side of it. And I don't want to get a storage unit. I do have an attic. I do have a building behind my house, but I don't like it set up. It's not really fit to keep items in it because I think there's some rodents and things in there because it just keeps my lawnmower in it. 
and just some yard tools. But what I really like is a basement. I wish in the future, I wish in 2021, I could get a new house because a basement or a building on the property like some YouTubers have would just be, oh, that's, that'd be a dream of mine. Another thing I'd like to keep up is constant exercise. As I said, my garage is kind of four quadrants and one of them is my workout space. I'm a gym rat. I love to work out. I love anything, exercise and health, eating healthy. I love working out. That's the simplest way I can put it. When I lived in another location, I had a Gold's Gym membership and it was a block away. At midnight, I would go work out by myself for like an hour with like four people in that gigantic gym. And I loved that. Some of the best times of my life has just been working out, just myself, improving. I loved it. Just I felt so good inside. That was good for my soul and my brain and my body. When the quarantines hit, I built a spot in my garage where I could work out. I've got some kettlebells, some dumbbells, medicine balls, light things, some bands I can do exercises with. And for me, I'm 43 now. I don't have to work out the same way as I used to. I don't have to have the bulk. I don't really want to. I've got a trainer I've worked with who set up a certain routine and diet for myself. And I did well with it this year, but I need to be more consistent. There were days I let it go because I was so focused on eBaying, reselling, sourcing, all of this stuff. And now with YouTube on my plate, I spent hours and hours and hours learning that. And I need to stop, take a minute and be more compartmentalized. I need to have my time for videos, editing, listing, and working out. I definitely have to keep that in mind. Um, I get so consumed with things, I don't stop. One thing I do is rob myself of sleep. So this really should be just a whole health, overall health topic. I stay up way too late doing work. I don't take time for myself and I'll go to sleep at three o'clock in the morning and wake up at eight or four and wake up at six. I've done that before and I have the worst days. I need to get more sleep. So I need to establish a bedtime and stick with it. Like I said, I need to compartmentalize every time and say it's okay to rest. And the last thing I'm trying to do on my reseller resolution list is just be better at YouTube in general. As I watch other YouTube resellers, I see kind of patterns. Maybe this day they'll do a haul or a thrift day, or this day they'll do here's what's sold for them. And I need to just jump in and start doing more of that. I've got a lot of things I can talk about, but the main thing I wanna talk about is what will help you. My main goal is to teach. I want to be able to provide information that is helpful to people and you can enjoy the success I'm enjoying as well. Maybe you can teach me to enjoy the success you're enjoying because we all need help these days. So those are my goals leading up to 2021 and going into it. I have to ask, do you have a list? If you don't, you might want to start thinking about it. Let's make those changes now. Don't wait. Don't procrastinate. I hope you all have a great 2021. I hope you have a great flipping day.